this is an example of a type of product that is so voluminous, it's very fluffy, that it fills the tank and it doesn't settle, it doesn't compress. So about uh, 60, 75% of the way, we stop loading, button up all the uh, top hatches, and then I blow air into the trailer via top air. All this is closed off, all my air goes up to the top and compresses the load down, down, down. And then I have 15 pounds of pressure in the trailer. So then I have to open the blow down valve into this sock. The sock just keeps the dust from going everywhere. It makes it that much quieter. And I can't open it all the way because it might blow the bag off. It's only bungee corded in there. But uh, once these tank gauge goes to zero, uh, that means I can uh, open up the lids, finish loading the last uh, 14, 50,000 pounds. However, that bag holds about a pound or pound and a half. So when he opens that lid, it'll blow up in his face. So there's a zipper on the back of the bag, the, the, the large portion of the back of the bag. Unzip that, the bag will go, it'll deflate. That will be at zero. I'll open the blowdown valve to make sure all the way to make sure it's completely at zeros. I'll back under, he'll reopen, uh, top me off, close me up, and I'll be uh, stuck in LA traffic for the next two uh, hours. Yeah, come on. Put that deflate. I'm gonna get that down to zero for Maurice's safety. So on the first truck here, I usually sleep over there with the railroad tracks. And they get here at five. I think I should be loaded by seven. So zipper's open, gauges are already down to zero. I'll open this all the way. I'll go press on the bag, make sure it's uh, zero, no pounds on it. Give him the thumbs up and he'll uh, top me off. It's a long process, but it's the only way to fit 48,000 in here. And at 48,000, I should only be 77. So uh, I'll go easy over the grapevine. Yeah, come out.